Hello guys, today we'll have a quick video. I just wanted to show you the example of Observer, Eloquent Observer, with specifically function of saving. I see a lot of examples, including the official documentation about methods in Observer class like created, updated, deleted. So Observer method is fired after the record is saved into the database. But there are methods that are fired before saving. So there are methods like creating, not created, updating, and deleting. And also there's saving, which we use in our Laravel daily com to generate some kind of hidden values before saving. In this example, you can see when I'm creating a new course or when I'm editing the new course, the system will automatically generate the HTML from Markdown in the description. So I write the description in Markdown and then it is transformed into HTML and also automatically creating the excerpt for like short description of the course. And the thing is that saving is called instead of two methods, creating and updating. So this is pretty convenient to launch the same things on create form and edit form. Similar logic in lesson observer. So we need the description from markdown into HTML. So if you have some hidden fields like this one, like excerpt, for example, if you have post or something, or if you want to automatically generate some UUID or add some user ID or something like that, saving is a pretty convenient way to do that. In the description below, I will also add the link to the official documentation about observers where you can read more about that. That's it for this short video and see you guys in other videos.